Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video we're going to be talking about erythropoiesis and this is the process of red blood cell production or erythrocyte production. Erythrocyte is another way of saying red blood cell. So this process is a highly active process. There are about 2.5 million red blood cells which are being produced every second and the lifespan of a red blood cell is about 120 days. Now the main hormone which stimulates red blood cell production is erythropoietin this is the main hormone and this is the primary regulator of red blood cell production. So let's talk about the process of erythropoiesis. So erythropoiesis occurs in the bone marrow. Erythropoietin, like we just said, is uh, the hormone which stimulates it and it's secreted by the kidneys. This hormone binds onto the membrane receptors on cells that will become red blood cells or erythrocytes. So let's look at how this process works in a bit more detail. So here we have the uh, initial stem cell which is responsible for the production of not only red blood cells but white blood cells as well. This is the hemocytoblast, it's the initial stem cell. This will then f move forward and form a pro-erythroblast and at this point we have the erythropoietin stimulus so it binds onto the receptors here and then an erythroblast is formed and it's a polychromatic, you can see by the number of chromosomes here it's polychromatic. Then the erythroblast will become a normal blast and from here it will have its nucleus expelled out and it will become a reticulocyte and as you can see this processes are occurring in the bone marrow here and then following on from this the reticulocyte, reticulocyte will form the erythrocyte and which will go into the blood. So this is the process of erythropoiesis. Now let's talk about its regulation. Like I said, erythropoietin, which is the hormone secreted by the kidneys and also the liver, is the primary regulator and when blood oxygen is low, this hormone is secreted by the kidneys or the liver as well. And a feedback loop which involves this hormone, erythropoietin, is what initiates erythropoiesis, which means that red blood cells can be synthesized to meet the rate of red blood cell destruction. Remember, red blood cells are also being destructed in the spleen. So there's a mechanism in place or a feedback loop, which means that the uh, red blood cells are being destructed and at the same time, there's enough being produced to make up for that loss. So erythropoietin is also bound by circulating red blood cells and if there are low circulating numbers, that means there's a high amount of unbound erythropoietin, and which stimulates red blood cell production in the bone marrow. Okay, now that's everything I want to discuss in today's video on erythropoiesis. Thank you very much for watching.